the fold. All glory be to the King of Kings. He is wonderful. Yes, he's wonderful. Wonderful. Yes, he's wonderful. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. From this time forth and even forevermore. In Jesus' name, I give all the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, let, let your word be spoken through my mouth, Father. Let me decrease, let you increase. All praise and glory and honor belongs to you, Father. All the glory. Because those words are encouraging to me or admonishing or warning. Uh, to me, and Father, help me to take it first to heart, and the others who are hearing it, to take it to heart, because the time is at hand. Help us to get prepared in every way. We have not been prepared, and we have we are thinking to ourselves, we are. Have mercy on us in Jesus' name. Father, we cover the word with the blood of Jesus. We cover the hearers with the blood of Jesus, the messenger, with the blood of Jesus, the message, with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As the Holy Spirit divine, we take full control in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'd like us to turn to Mark chapter 7. Mark chapter 7. And I read in Jesus' name. Then came together unto, the, uh, unto him the Pharisees and certain of the scribes which came from Jerusalem. And when they saw some of the disciples eat bread with it defiled, that is to say, unwashing hands, they found fault. For the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they wash uh, their hands oft, that means often, they, um, they eat not holding the tradition of the elders. And when they come from the market, except they wash, they eat not. And many other things there be, which they have received to hold as the washing of cups and pots and prison vessels and of tables. Then the Pharisees and the scribes ask him, why not, why not, why walk not? thy disciples, according to the tradition of the elders. They didn't say of God. But eat bread with unwashed hands. You realize that the people asked, why are you not walking after the, the, the um, traditions of the elders? They didn't ask of God Almighty. So by their elders, and there's some religion, like um, the Mormons, they have elders. Um, I don't know all the intricacies of their religion, so I cannot delve in much. Uh, Seventh-day Adventists, they do. You know, the JWs, they do. And there's, they all they have as their, their elders, as the, those that are governing the governing body, that they hear from God, I guess, directly, et cetera. Yeah, even Satan hear from God, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not to put down any of your church, but I mean, the time is at hand. If people know the seriousness of, of, of the souls of men, they wouldn't act like this. To act like that is ridiculous. You are going to a church and they are telling you things and you say, but my soul is important to me. No one has the, the, the right to my soul, my body, who cares? Well, not who cares. Like, People can do anything with your body, but your soul belongs to God. And you should go back to God. But depending on what was done or what you are doing, what I am doing, what we are doing, it may not. That will not be our portion. Hallelujah. Uh, continuing, however, in Mark um, chapter 7, verse 6, he answered and said unto them, I love the Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. 
every day is an opportunity for the Holy Spirit to show me his word, the, um, the word of God, and to elaborate, you know, things that I had questions about. I just thank God. Hallelujah. He answered and said unto them, well, of Isaiah prophesied of, um, of you hypocrites, as it is written, these people honoreth me with their lips, lip service, mm -hmm. but their heart, but their heart is far from me. Honor me with their lips. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. I love the Lord. But simple for you ladies to cover your head. It's a problem. Men, simple for you to keep God's law. Elders, bishops, blameless. That's a problem. It's not a problem for God, you know. God is holy. Holiness become of his house. Hallelujah. Holiness become of thine house. And it says, these people honor me with their lips, lip service, but their heart is far from me. Sometimes when you are in church, well, long time ago, when I used to be, I used to think about what am I going to have for lunch just before service? Did I turn off the stove when I left? All those things come to your mind. Arrows. What am I going to do for the week? Oh, the, that project, I didn't finish it. Oh, in the service. So, obviously, my heart wasn't there. And I'm not the only one. When I went to service, this woman slept. Not even, uh, no serious, not a little nap. We're talking about snoring, leaning on people, and distracting the others. These people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. How be it? In vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandments, you see, there are two words here doctrines of men, commandments, doctrines, um, um, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. Mm -hmm. Laying aside the commandment of God, he hold fast the tradition of men as the washing of, of pots and cups and many other such like things he do. And he said unto them, full well he reject the commandment of God that he may keep your own tradition. Can you imagine? God Almighty, we are rejecting his word. Reje rejecting that we must be born again, rejecting these things. So you can hold your own, pour a little water on your head and say you are baptized. May the Lord have mercy on us. For Moses said, honor thy father and thy mother and whosoever curse their father or mother, let him die to death. But he say, if a man shall say unto his father and mother, it is Corban, that is to say it's a gift by what? So ever thou mightest be profited by me, he shall be free. So they came up with a new rule. Instead of honoring your father and your mother, you know, or grandmother, they came up with a new one. Is your church coming up with something new? I must say, we are in the body of Christ for a reason. And there are members, there are people, they are older, especially the older ones, that they are dressing with back outs, all sorts of ways, with the wigs, line wigs, fake wigs, whatever it is, on their heads. And they, they are, are the example to the younger ones. Now, if you're a grandmama and you are putting your, this thing on your head, your children will be emboldened to do so. Now, why don't you change? Yes, you grandmother. The Bible says we're supposed to honor father and mother. But how are you honoring your children? If they are, you're teaching them to break the law of God. You're teaching them to break the commandments of God. You're teaching them to not obey the word of God. Not, or not listen to all of the instructions that Jesus came and he gave to us. Don't listen to that. Why? You as an older person, and it is your fault. Yes, it is your fault. That's why your children are rebellious in the house of God. 
because they see you, you give them nice food, you love them, you give them all that love. But at the same time, they see you dressing in a way that it is not good. They, they, they can tell. They don't want to insult the grandmama. Here goes the cookie jar. You won't get anything. I'm just saying that part. But you know, they, they don't want to in, in, in say anything negative. Oh, my grandmother loved me. She read the word. They are not, the children are not reading any. The grandchildren are not reading any. So their grandmother is spending a few hours. And to them, that person have already made it in. Not knowing there are other things that the grandmother is supposed to be showing to the children. Like, like you grandmother, why are you putting trousers on? This is a big deal, you know. I harp about that a lot because many, many ladies are going to hell for this reason. And they said, this is doctrine of men. But the people who are doing it, the, 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 the ministers of God that are doing it, male and female, some of them who have died, they are in hell burning for eternity, wishing they could come back and change things. They can't. They made their own. Instead of asking God, Father, what would you have me? What would thou have me to do? What would thou have me to do? Would you like me, Lord? Would you like me to do these things? Would you like me to, to change my wardrobe? A bodycon dress is not in the house of God. Even if you can sing like a bird or an angel, it is not for the things of, of God. When you come to the house of God, you should be coming in sackcloth. Come on, sackcloth and ashes. Not makeup and a body count dress. The men and said, some of them, the, the pants is low. Not in the house of God. It's not church. It's the house of God. Think about that. Your ministers, they, 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 they're right now, are you looking at the, 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 the trend? How can the house of God be trendy? Holiness trendy and no power? Something is wrong. Holiness is trendy. The ministers are mimicking. They are copying. The members, they come with sneakers and, you know, jeans. I don't know if I haven't seen any of them ripped. I cannot tell. But who knows who, who the ministers are these days? They come with flags flying, the women putting their legs all over the place, worshiping God. Do you hear what the word of God said? These people honoreth me with their lips. So they're doing good. So far, let's go a little deeper. Honoring God with your lips. I am not telling you something that uh, I am just making up by myself. I was part of that group. <laughs> yes. I was dishonoring God. I didn't know. I really, I didn't know. I did not know it. I, I didn't. Sometimes when I think of the things I have done, when I think of the things and the, the grace that God has given to me, my Lord, I just give God glory. I just give him glory. I was part of that group. I used to come to, 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 to God's house with church closed tight pants. You know, my husband like to see certain things. Decent enough, I think. In my eyes, can you imagine? My sinful eyes is decent. I can look and see other people that are worse than me. So, you know that feeling. Mm -hmm. Oh, that person, look at how they dress. How can I compare sin with sin? A sinner I was, with sin in my eyes and everywhere else. Trying to judge other people and trying to judge myself a better I try to say, oh, that one is good. That one is not. How could I? Teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. Honoring God Almighty with lip service. Mm -hmm. Smack, smack, smack. But what does that have to do with my heart? I don't want to touch that. Can you imagine? Rings, you have to give it all up. Including your wedding ring, the one you just show everybody, I am married, you are not. Mm -hmm. I didn't just say it, but I felt self-conscious about the people who were not married. And when I would lift up my hand to worship God, I just 
hated that feeling inside of me. God knew it. I, I did not know of holiness yet. You know, but I just find that is not a place to display stuff. But I didn't know why. See, God has patience. He has patience. He has patience, patience, patience. And I put my hands up in the church. I wasn't so much for, um, for um, jewelry chains and so forth. All I got my husband a few big, you know those big chains? I got my husband. Because I said, I want, I want him to get, I want to get him a, a good chain, a nice chain. That when all the people see it, you see covetousness. They know that he's a man of cloud. Hey, I got him a, those chains, those <laughs> unsaved people. Chains. Got him little ones, but there was a big one with a lion. And the lion had gold, um, white gold, rose gold, and yellow gold on it. And the eyes were, I think, emerald. I, 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 I fixed it up. And with, uh, yeah. The main had shiny stuff. You see it and you know it's bling bling. You know, when you commit sin and it's horrible, God takes his time. He don't show it to you. When he opens your eyes and shows you your sin. Ah! My dear. Ah. My crying was not for a week. My crying was not for a month, years. And still to today, when I think of the things I have done, how oh, I drag my family into sin, uh, that hurts. We say, God forgive you. They're quick to say that. Yes. But had the children of Israel remembered, it was God that took them out from Pharaoh's house and Pharaoh's land and through the Red Sea and through all the uh, um, enemies after they, they, they passed the Red Sea, had they remembered that and not grumbled, they all would have entered. It is good to remember the things you have done. So you will not sin against God and give him lip service when you know your heart is wicked, desperately wicked, and only God that can know it. It is good to remember the things you have done and thank God for forgiving you. And others need to know that as a testimony. Why? They see you normally like, oh, you've always been like this. Oh, if you see some of the, 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 the sister's pictures, Sister Kayla have some. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Sister Kayla, <laughs> God have done a miracle in your life. In all of us. Some it's outside. Some it's inside. Some it's both. Majority of us, it's both. Especially when we have the evidence to show. Ah! Those kind of pictures I used to dress. And a worse is the motive. The heart could have a deadly motive inside. You think you are okay. And God is saying, no, you're not. No, you're not. And you enter in the pulley gates. Oh, to be stopped at the gate. You see, these people honor me with their lips but their heart is far from me. You may think that God have anointed you to pray. And I know of you prayer warriors. If you know them, these people pray fire prayers. You say you're in holiness, you can pray fire prayers. These people can pray. If they add their work and you call them for an emergency, they take some time off to go and intercede for you. That's how dedicated they are. But if you see them dress, You'll wonder when did the blood of Jesus touch them? Ever, if heads on fire, cut with all shapes, pants is shredded, boobs are showing. You wonder by those prayers you are praying now. Did any one of them reach you? Prayer warriors, prayer warriors, gatekeepers, who's get their guarding? You see, simple things. But this is an admonition for you and I. 
Even if you're thinking you are dressed up, you have this get up, you have your, yeah, yeah, you dress nice, you covered from head to toe, yeah. What about the heart now? Laying for laying aside the commandment of God, you all your own traditions, mm -hmm. the traditions of men, as the washing of parts. Oh, we shouldn't eat that, we shouldn't drink that, and cups, yeah, special cups, and many other such like things you do, yeah. What about inside? I realize to the washing of the inside is even more than the outside. You know what I found out? Right in the holiness, which I found the holy people were there, I was so happy because I'm sure all the people who are in holiness are on their way to heaven because they were secular Christians, you know, and God had called them out of darkness, which they thought they, it was light. All of us, we thought it was light. Now God calls out of darkness to his precious light. So we are waiting for the glorious return. Yeah? With malice with bitterness, cannot even take correction. Many of these leaders, they will not take correction. Try to tell them something that is wrong with them, boom, they go off. Or they give you a scripture, yeah? My God will supply all my needs. Um, oh, yes, good one. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, yeah. Mm -hmm. Every man for himself, yeah. That's not even the scripture. You see, you cannot take correction. You are a man of God. If somebody tells you, well, why aren't you preaching about holiness? You go off on them. I will lose my members. So by saying that, you just acknowledge that you, it is something true. You would rather come, have your children dressing all sorts of way, and you know God is displeased with it, but to keep the tithe moving, the, the escalator of tithe moving, you'd rather move those souls into hell and keep it money coming to you. It is appointed unto man, wants to die. And after this, the judgment. In this Solomon, King Solomon, David's son, the second king of Israel. When his father died, how happy he was. You know, he was crowned. His father saw him king before he died and bowed to him. King David bowed to Solomon, acknowledged him as king. Ah, can you imagine? The, all the others looked at Solomon. He started good. He built a lot of things, got a lot of wives and so forth. Nothing that his eyes wanted, he said no to. See, sometimes we need to have a, a, a measuring stick we need to have some kind of measurement and say no I, I i i i don't want my my mouth to taste that i will fast now i don't i don't want to see these things on youtube or facebook i we need to have a, a some kind of gauge you know what i'm talking about you need to have a, you have some free time oh let me do some research on what not on the word of god some secular things on black lives, on the history of my country. Is that going to take you to heaven? Is that many, many men and women of God are, are involved in that? Solomon was very happy when he became king, but he said something. Vanity of all vanity. Uh oh, when he was getting older, that's what he said. It's all vanity. We can turn to Ecclesiastes 12. It was all vanity. And he, he, he basically, in a nutshell, told us what we should do. In, two, in one, Ecclesiastes um, chapter 12, from verse one. Remember now thy creator uh -oh, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened or the clouds return after rain. Basically, it's describing your body going through the process of being old. 
your teeth not working, your eyes not working, your ears not working, nothing not working, your, 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 your legs not working. Remember God before all those things stop working. Today, remember him. And listen to how he ended up. He said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. <laughs> it is nice to, 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 to conclude and to know the conclusion before you die, you know. Fear God and keep his commandments. Not the commandments of men, only. Not the commandments of men. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. That is your job. Not to become a nurse. Not to become a doctor. Not to become anything. You want to be an educator. Good, good, good. That's for your flesh. But the conclusion is fear God. And keep his commandments. For the, thank you, Holy Spirit. For this is the whole duty of man. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. For God shall bring every work into judgment. Every secret thing. There you go. So you put braid under your hair and you cover it and nobody knows. So when you go to work, you are a different face. And when you're coming back, you tie your head for your, because maybe you'll see a member or somebody. Every secret thing. You sleep with somebody's child, the person pregnant, you're going to tell them about the baby. Every secret thing. Yes. You are taking tight money and eat for yourself. Yeah. Every secret thing. Instead of you find a job, you are not going to find a job at all. Every secret thing. For God shall bring every, every work into judgment. Every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Did you hear that? Hallelujah. I give God the praise and thanks. Every time I'm, pre I'm pre preaching, I always get distracted or disturbed. But God be praised. God shall bring everything, all those things. So it behooves us right now to listen. Laying aside the commandments of God to, to serve the commandments of men. But when you do that, when you put aside the commandments of God, the things that will help us enter. And people have a lot of arguments. What about the scripture? Somebody told me once, uh, two different material on, on your clothes. Well, if you're wearing that, take us to God in prayer, my dear. I'm not the one holding the pearly gates or the gate of hellfire. No, I'm not the one. Go to God. Vessel. Just a vessel, servant. And people, some of you, you like titles. Oh, call me Geo. Oh, call me uh, extraordinary uh, bishop, archbishop, senior bishop, triple, triple what? First lady, second to the first lady. Uh huh. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. That is only what you want to hear. Enter into the joy of thy Lord. Yeah? That's all you want to hear. You don't want to hear all those kind of words. Solomon was very smart. Let us hear the conclusion. Finalize it for us now. Fear God. Fear God. And keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work you join your family member to do something cruel to another family member. And you think God almighty have not seen you. You have stolen that person's church from them. Uh-huh. He doesn't work hard and you are finding it very easy. Fear God because, oh no, my husband is the one who did it and you are profiting from it and you're not speaking up. Fear God. Fear God. Fear God. You know that person is stealing from the church <clears throat> and you know it. You kept him off quiet. Fear God. Fear God. He's he that can kill both body and after one he kill, can throw into hellfire. Fear God. Hallelujah. For God shall bring every work into judgment. Every secret thing. Your, your member or your movement may be too busy having their rules and say, only listen to me. Only listen to me. Only listen to my wife. She's the only one that's hearing from God. Uh-huh. Jezebel. Yeah. Jezebel wanted to, to take over um, the, 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 the kingdom. Her husband was, sec Ahab, was secondary. And whatever she said goes. He was just head. She was controlling everything. Mm -hmm. Fear God. Fear God. Don't make the word of God non-effect in your life or mine. You see? This message is for me. 
it is for you too. No one is exempt. As long as you have oxygen in your lungs, mental cap capability, it is for you. Take it. Don't wait until the door of mercy closes. The word of God tells us in 15, there is nothing from within a man that entering into him that can define him. But the things that come out of him, those are, the, are they that defile a man. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. Clean them up. Here. Here. Even the disciples, they ask Jesus concerning them. You see, even people who are in the house of God, they have questions now. Jesus said in 18, are ye also without um are ye so without understanding also? Mm -hmm. Do ye not perceive that whatever thing um from with um from without entereth into a man cannot define him? Ah, food. Because it, it it entereth not into his heart. See. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. John chapter 14, 26. But the comforter. Who is the Holy Ghost? Whom the Father um, would send in my name. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Ah. God bless the Holy Spirit. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Thank God for Jesus. I thank God for Jesus. I thank God for Jesus Christ. What a sacrifice for you and I. What a sacrifice. <clears throat> and he didn't leave us by ourselves. <clears throat> he sent the Holy Spirit. He says, because it entereth uh, not into his heart, but into his belly, and goeth into the draft, purging all meat, but that which cometh out of a man, that defile the man. So somebody do you something, and you have bitterness in your heart, it defiles. For, for um, it says, um, 21, that is Mark 7, 21. For from within, out of, our, out of men, proceed evil thoughts. Adulteries, boy, it seems that adultery hitting all of them. Boom. In the book of Galatians, where you have the lust of the flesh, adultery first. Mm, there we go. Adulteries. Hallelujah. Fornications followed. Murder, which is kind of is hatred. Two. Thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, sexy dressing, body con dress. An evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolish, um, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile a man. You see, that is what we're supposed to be working on. Lord, do I, I am I covetous? You know, like one day I bought two pots. Recently, I bought one and I said, I will return. The, I saw the price of the bigger one. So I said, I when I get it, I will return it. But when I got it, the, the feature that the, the smaller one had, the bigger one didn't have it. So I took myself into keeping them, but I was feeling bad and guilty. I consoled myself with this one would have, can make yogurt, but this one cannot make yogurt. Yeah? Yeah. This is how I consoled myself. But how does God see me now? So I tell my sons, I'm cooking it, but I found a way to make it reasonable. Like I use one for my mom, and I just want for us for us to go. But I didn't have to. I had a lot of pots, but this was a, a special one. It's still an electrical pot. Ah, oh, may God have mercy. See, work out your own salvation with fear and tremble. Trembling. Because out of us, those things. Blasphemy. Pride. And those things are serious. If we don't get rid of them, when we get old, I saw, I, I have an example with somebody that get old. The person is, they were, all their life, they used to fight. They were fighters. And they get old, and they are fighter, even if they're weak. They fight. They want war. They want trouble. They want war all the time. All these things come out from, from a man and defile a man. You see? All these things defile a man. Hallelujah. But you and I, we know we have the blood of Jesus. So we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. 
we soak ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We cover ourselves and say, Lord, anyway, hold on a while, please. Yes, distraction all the time. <laughs> we have to pray and ask the Lord, Father in heaven, if these things are inside of me, I do not know the degree I have them. Remove them from me. Pray. You as a Christian, no, you know how many scarves I have? I, and I do not know the number exactly, but I have many, many. And that's another fault I have. I really don't count them, so I will not know how many I have. Mm -hmm. But it's still the same thing. Whether you are counting yours and just put it on display, or you're not counting yours and, and hiding it, it's the same thing. Same thing. You know, adultery. Even if in holiness, I see some sisters, their skirt is coming shorter and shorter, and it, the, the curvature of their bodies are showing. Please, you're in holiness. Please, put yourself naked now, because that's what you are. You see, I have to check myself. You want to cinch your waist? What is in your mind? What is in your mind? God is telling us right now. He wants a glorious church. He wants a church that's rapturable. So putting on those garb will not allow us to enter the kingdom of God because all those things that come from inside of us, I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Adultery in holiness. This, this minister of God, I had a revelation about him in 2015, some time ago, six, seven years ago. Um, we are in 2021, so quite some time. And they were looking for a gun to kill that, that minister because he was preaching holiness. He's, he is too, to some degree. But one day, <laughs> I heard him preaching. They couldn't find a gun to kill him. I heard him preaching, doing a, a Q&A. And I heard him say about like condoms, you know, using those things there for, to prevent you from having babies. I said, oh my Lord, that's the gun. They get to kill this man, spiritually, that is. So now his church is growing, leaps and bounds, but he doesn't know. He has to go back there and make it right. He doesn't know that. How comes it's not revealed to you? Now, if somebody would come and tell him, minister, pastor, whatever he call himself, man of God, papa, whatever names they call them. Sa. I don't know what sa means, but somebody said me, sa is sir. <laughs> That's the way they pronounce it. Um, I'm making fun of people. Everybody has different things. Maybe they took them, when I say sir, it's strange, you know? Yeah. But that was, that was what he preached to his members. Now, if somebody had to get a dream or revelation to come and tell him that, he says, oh, no, no, no. Only my wife, only my wife can hear from God. Oh, oh, boom, a shot. You have just made a doctrine, commandments, tradition of men. And you give yourself no way out, not even to listen to anybody else, not even to allow yourself to come and say, I was wrong on that. You know, people will respect you if you come and say, look, God has revealed to me that this one day I was wrong. So I'm telling everybody, you know, that, repent. How nice would that be? But no, they don't want to feel ashamed. So because of that, but my dear, out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts murder, adultery, fornication. When you have the, you go and get that, your family planning and inject yourself with, with all those things. Murder in the eyes of God. I didn't know that. Hey, I had my tubes cut. I didn't know. And somebody did that, that happened to her, right in holiness. And she wanted somebody to explain that to her. You are a minister. You don't know that is wrong. Hey, and you are doing it. Look at the blood of these people. 
that's on your hand. Do you see it dripping? Do you see it just pouring like a waterfall? I pray that will not be your portion. You will repent today. I pray that will not be my portion. I'll repent today. Father, forgive me. Anywhere I've caused blood to be on my hands or my children's hands or my house. Father, my husband. Or Father, all the, the, the ministry, the body of Christ, the work you have given to me. Lord, deliver me. Wash me with your precious blood in the name of Jesus. Pray and repent. Pray and repent. I say, Father God, this year, 2021, I want good habits. Righteous habits, holy habits this year. Father, help me. People get, get advice. Somebody call, called, uh, not called, but yes, the person did. And told me something about my life privately. I didn't know this God had sent them. I take it seriously. Yeah. But some people, no, no, no. Oh, please. Mm. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear it. Yeah? On your way to heaven? <laughs> yeah. Check your destination and look at your tickets. It may be burning hot. Check your ticket. It may be hot. Not the kind of heat you're thinking about. Not Holy Ghost heat. Satanic heat. Because your pride refuses and is blocking you. It refuses you to even make a decision or listen to anybody that can help you. You are preaching, but you don't want to hear from anybody. Check yourself at the door. Check your ticket. Your destination may be hell. I don't want that to be for you. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Come to Jesus today. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Several months I was there in the doldrum. I said, God, I want to work on myself. I want to work on myself. I want to work on, my, please, Lord, work on me. Work on me. I don't want to go preach to people and not living their life. Although sometimes some things I, the, the, the Lord put in my heart to say, I said, Lord have mercy. How about me? I take it for me. Those messages, I go back and listen to it. Sometimes once or twice or more. I do. At first, my voice is just sound strange to me. But I God opened my ears to hear the word. To hear the word. If your voice is something strange to you, pray and ask God. Or oh, you may have a lot of pride you need to get rid of. Yeah? Call yourself a leader. You hate to hear your own message, but you can deliver it to somebody else. Sit down and listen to your message. Sit and listen to it twice. Yes. The message that God gave to you. For others, you think you are included in these others, huh? All of us. And you get off your hump and do something for God. Even if it's something little, others don't have to see it. It could be intercession. If you're doing intercession, others don't have to see it, but you are doing it for God. You know, some things is private. Like Brother Nash, he interceded, he prayed, prayed for Charles Finney when they had all his his convention and conferences and so forth. And the power of God came down so powerful. So powerful. Sometimes you have all people behind you, praying for you, undergirding you. You see, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Give God the glory. Give him the praise. Give him the honor. Give him the adoration. Bless his holy name. He's worthy. He's worthy. God is worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be ex uh, exalted. Hallelujah. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. And thank God Almighty. He's wonderful. There is none like unto him. If you want to know anything, ask God. If you think that somebody's saying something, ah, I disagree with that. Go to God in prayer. Go to God in prayer. Take it to God in prayer. You'll be surprised. God will show you even more than what you even thought. Hmm? All those things defy. But God wants us to live holy lives that are pleasing to him. Hallelujah. He that have ear in verse 16 says, Mark 7, 16. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. Hallelujah. Teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. Listen to God and he will take you through. Solomon said, for God shall bring every work into judgment, every secret thing. Will it be good? Will it be evil? If you have ears, hear. Because God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. This is Sister Claudia. If you need prayer, 
if you need prayer, call. Or you can um, go to the, to the Virtuous Women in Christ.org, Virtuous Women in Christ.org. And we have a, a live chat, put it there, and we can get back to you as the Lord permits. In Jesus' name, I follow up with you. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you, Holy Spirit, because as you have had me to disseminate the word, it is also for my learning. As you have me um, sharing and giving exhortation, it is also for my, for my learning. God, I give you praise and I thank you. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus, my family, with the blood of Jesus. Any arrow the enemy have planned because of that word, Father God, let that arrow go back to them with your thunder and fire and consume them, Father. Let your word go forth on with without restraint to the four corners of the earth and father god let your name be glorified let your name be exalted father let souls come to know you as lord many are dying right now wanting to hear a word they are, are, are confused things are bothering them let them come right now and know you as lord father i bless all the men and women of god that are preaching the word those who are on the streets those who are in their homes those who are on the rooftop wherever Father, for your glory, for your praise, let your word sh and, and shine through the hearts of man, dying man, Father, that more souls can come to know you as Lord and Savior. In Jesus' precious name, I thank you, Lord. This is Sister Claudia. God bless you. God bless you.